I thought I would just go ahead and start since uh, it always takes a bit to get going. So. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna pick out some colors. Hello, if you're hopping on, I'm just kind of getting set up. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. I forgot I had that. This will be perfect. This is a shimmery blue. Anyways, hello. If you are here, we're going to make some dyed papers. And I thought it was so much more fun to call it galaxy dyed papers because it would be cool if I can figure something out. Um, this is what we're going for. Just, you know, some dyed papers. I'm thinking like blues and greens, but it would be super cool. I have uh, I have stencils, so we can use those as well. Hi, Tina. Um, and what else? I want to see if I can figure out a way that when we're all done dyeing the papers, we can use some of this gold gilding polish. It's thick, so I'll see if I can water it down and then just, like, get a whole bunch of really pretty uh, golden splashes on the paper, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm just getting set up. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Lila. I hope I said your name right. First time catching a live. You getting ready for work? All right. Well, I'm glad you could at least hop on for a second. So I have my oven on at 350 because I will probably dry some of these papers in the oven but I do prefer to just dry them out on the countertop. So if you can see, I have some plastic covering my countertops um, so that we can lay out the papers. I had my trimmer. I was thinking of trimming down the pages, but actually I think I'll do the cutting afterwards. Just, yeah, I think that'll just be easier because I realized that I don't actually need to trim anything off for the sizes that I need, if that makes sense. I do have gloves. I'm gonna probably wear those a bit. My kitty's down here. And yeah, I'm in my kitchen, so it's very possible it's gonna get loud if my dog barks and stuff, but. And there's always a dog barking actually, like in the backyard and I, anyways, anyways. Okay, Katie, you can't climb up me today. Ooh, and this is a lilac shade. So I think we'll do blues blues, greens, and maybe a little bit of purple. I'll tell you what colors I have in just a second here. Maybe, well, we can start with just a couple. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do because I have quite a few choices. I wish, so I wish I had a gold spray, but I don't think I do because that's that would be useful to do some gold splatters at the end, but I don't think it would give me the look I'm going for because these sprays are usually like water-based or even if they are alcohol inks, they still spread like a watercolor, you know what I mean? So I want it to be a little thicker than that. So I have paper towels too because you're always gonna need a bunch of those. And we got our praying mantis over here too. Okay, so as you can see, hopefully, I have a pretty dirty <laughs> aluminum pan here. So I have water in it, it's filled halfway. This is what I use for coffee dyeing. So let me make sure you can see here. I'm just gonna get started because I have a lot I have to fit into my time today. Had a very hectic morning, very, very. <laughs> but we're here, we're showing up. That's what's important. I just realized a bunch of water got spilled under here too, and I don't even know how that happened. So bear with me for a second. I guess it's bound to get messy anyways. My cat, I tell you. Gosh, I, I don't even understand where this water came from. Well, whatever. We'll just, we'll forget about the mess. Who cares? Okay, rolling up my sleeves. Yeah, definitely wear gloves when you do this if you don't want your hands to get messy. Hi, Maria. Hi, Genevieve. 
How are you guys? Okay, so I'm just gonna start. This is what I like to do is start by spraying in a couple colors. And again, this is filled halfway with water. Some of these spray bottles aren't working so good anymore because they're old, but the, the ink still works, so. Oh yeah, I said I would tell you what colors. Ooh, I love this color. Okay, this one is Stormy Sky. It's an oxide spray. The first one's Mermaid Lagoon, a classic. And then we have a Sunburst spray by Lindy's. I don't see a name on it. It's, oh, Bachelor Button Blue. Okay, let's start with that. So this is what I like to do. I like to put a bunch of sprays. Oh, I'm glad, Shauna, that you caught me live again. So I like to spray kind of on top of the water so it's floating on top of the water, and then I take my paper and dunk it and press it down. Oh, my. My cat, you guys. Now, sometimes I will even spray on the paper, either before putting it in here or like I just did. Oh, my gosh. My cat is nuts. I'm going for for not like the darkest dyed papers. I want it to just be kind of like pastel-y, I guess you could say. Okay, so it's gonna always be hard to tell what they look like when they're in this <laughs> state. But what I do now is, uh, it's gonna be hard to see because I can't move the camera. I'll take my paper and actually here, I'll move some so you can see because I get questions, how do I let them dry? So I will take it, put it down, and as even as I can, I'll try to fold it in half. Just like, oh, see, and I'm, so I'm at a really weird angle. Let me see if I can move this, because I just tore it, but that's fine, because we'll still be able to use that. Okay, anyways, so I will fold, try to fold it in half, and then you'll see that I'm just gonna stack a bunch on top of each other. You can let them dry out here or you can let them dry in your oven when i dry so i'm just going to keep going now i'm just going to be spraying inks and then dipping in i try to go kind of fast and again sometimes you'll see me spray on top sometimes you won't it's just kind of like everyone will be different you know sometimes we'll use some stencils which i'll do in a minute i try not to let them stay in here for too long Oh, Kitty, you cannot come up here, honey. You are going to mess things up. So these are going to be pages for the dream journals. Ooh, that's fun. Look at that. So actually, I, Kitty, you can't be up here, honey. Oh, no. This is going to get messy. <laughs> Kitty, you've got to get down, honey. I wish you could hang out, but that's just not gonna work. Okay, so we're just gonna do this a few times and then I'll use some stencils. I should have not had a sweatshirt on because it just keeps falling down. <clears throat> so for this one, I'll just get it all the way wet. Now, the, also, if you're using these kind of inks, the water doesn't get super dark, or what? that's not what I mean. It's not gonna be a super dark dye with these inks unless you probably put like a lot of ink in, which is why I like to do the sprays, but I like, I still like it to look like kind of organic, I guess you could say. Not like I just sprayed inks. Okay, I need a different kind of working station here because there we go. So I am using copy paper. I never usually have a problem with it. If you saw just a second ago, I did tear a little bit. That happens once in a while, but it doesn't happen a lot. And once the paper dries, it's, it's even stronger than it was than before, in my experience, I don't know. So yeah, I'm not looking at the comments right now, but I will every so often. So feel free if you have any questions or anything like that. And I'm just going to stack them like this. Now, after a while, this starts to get pretty wet and I'll take, this is why I like to have paper towels like that. It's just going to help 
these dry quicker. I'll pop some of these in the oven in a minute too, because I'm hoping I can show you a final result to at least some of them. And so, yeah, actually I'll do that in just a minute so that we can get going. And okay. Oh, that's fun. So let's see, I think you guys can see me here. Yep. And you could totally just use sprays on the paper, you know, but I don't know. I like the way that these dry. I like how they get kind of crinkly. I just really prefer to do it this way. I'm having a hard time folding these in. I think it's because I'm at a weird angle because normally I think I usually use a bigger pan. And if you're wondering why do I fold them in half, I don't know. <laughs> I just always have. Always have. And it just seems like I can stack a lot more on here to dry at once. And I don't have any problems with them sticking together when I fold them like this. But the times that I have tried letting them dry by just stacking them single layer on top of each other, I always get them sticking together and ripping. So I don't know like how this would be different, no idea. Every so often also I might take my stencils, here I'll do this. Ooh, I found a couple that will actually be good for this galaxy theme. Some circles. This one's from Amazon and it came in a pack. This one, I don't know, it was like Heidi Swap. <gasps> Heidi Swap, I haven't used that brand in forever. I'm gonna go like this and then, and this is wet, so I mean, the stencils aren't gonna probably work that well if you're spraying over such a wet area, but it still can give a cool design. And if you really wanna use stencils and have whatever, design then wait till they're dry and then spray on top and these have old inks so you'll see other colors coming through but i sort of like it i'm gonna grab a, my pan really quick so that i can actually put these in the oven so that hopefully you can see the final result so um one second here i'm gonna also click through um Hi, Debbie. Uh, oh, you've never seen this done before? I'm so glad that I can show you my uh, process. Katie, hello. And Deborah, hello. Functional light, one. Oh, you're so sweet. Please remember to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Dee Dee, Katie, um, could you do this with caramel colors? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh wait. Are you saying like caramel? Yeah, like color, caramel colors. I think that's what. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, I'm not going to do that today because I'm using these for like a dream journal and I want them to be kind of like galaxy themed. But I think that's what you're asking. And Maddie, hello. And Jeanette. Okay, so like I said, I'm, let me go grab my pan real fast. It's in my craft room. have some music paper this is these are my old pans that I always use for dyeing papers so I'll even dry them folded like this it's just you know when you find something that works you just you go with it so I want to dry these and then I want to try adding some gold um, gold, why can't I think of the word? Gold splashes. Because I think that's really going to give it a cool look. 
Alrighty. And when I have one that tears a little, I'll just maybe use this one for collaging or something like that because it's still totally usable. All right, so you can see how I stacked them on here. And now I'm just gonna put them in my oven. I do have it at 350. Some people might say that's a little high, but I'm watching it and I just want them to dry quick. <laughs> so I will keep checking it every few, every bit, every little bit. Okay, I'm gonna dry that up because again, if things get too wet, then it just becomes a mess and will take forever to dry. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of keep going now. Let me. Let me just check. I mean, the colors you can use to dye food. Oh, oh, actually I have seen people do that. No, sorry, and now I know what you're saying. I have seen you do that, or pff, people do that. And so I know it works. I, I, ha I don't have any of those, so yeah. Is this galaxy paper from another video? Is this, oh, is this the galaxy paper from another video, the little ones? Um, yes, yes, yes. I showed them yesterday. It's the same idea. Uh huh. I just thought it was fun to call them galaxy dyed papers, guys. I mean, it's literally just, you know, it's obviously just dyed papers, but it's fun to have it a fun title, right? <laughs> okay, and Dee Dee, you've never seen anyone fold their papers or even dry it that way. Nothing wrong with that at all. I may try it myself. Yeah, that's why I kind of show it because it just works for me. Like I said, I think a lot of people dry them flat like this and maybe even will stack them on. Every time I've tried that, they either get stuck together or they tear. So again, I have no idea why folding it would make it any different. It's, I don't know. But also I like the fact that I can stack so many when I fold it anyway. So I guess it works out. Okay, so I'm just gonna go at it again. Like I said, I'll be spraying in between maybe if I feel like it and then flip it over so the color's on there but it's always just going to give it a, a new look you know okay yeah these ones are like folding I always oh another thing always make sure that if you are folding them that it's all completely wet because if it's not then for some reason too they do kind of stick together weird You don't, I don't have to worry about it being folded perfectly or anything like that because at some point I'm going to unfold it, but, you know. We could try. I'm going to take these stencils and pop them on top like this and then like that. Do a couple sprays. And then take them off. And again, when we flip it over, it's, it's going to lose some of that, but, but you know, oh, cool. Actually, that does look kind of cool. Kitty, you really can't come up here. You cutie, you're going to mess things up. Okay. I kind of like that spring over the stencils first. Oh, you guys can probably see him. I could do the stencils to the to both sides too, but I kind of want to just get going. Some of the sprays, you know, seem to spray more out and then some more like a different type of spray. And so that also seems to make a difference how the stencils look, but And I'm fine with some of the sides being pretty light because when they get dried, I just think it's fun that they all look completely different. And I don't mind having some light sides. You'll still see the color. It, I feel like it's, it seems to show up a little bit better. I'm gonna sop up some of this extra mess here. The color seems to show up better, I feel like, once um, they dry. So even if it looks really light, I might just need to use paper towel for that. Okay. And once again, I don't have a ton of time today because I got to do so many things 
in this short amount of time. What time is it? It's 10. I have two more hours. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what all I need to do. My daughter had a Halloween party today at school. So that's fun. But my kids are getting colds. That's not fun. But she didn't seem like sick today. She just had a little bit of a runny nose. Normally I probably wouldn't even send her with those those conditions, but she didn't have a fever. She was jumping around, feeling okay. And her teacher said that a couple of the other kids like already have runny noses and have been there. So, I mean, I don't know. I hate, I really hate the idea of maybe we're going to get another kid sick, but like, ugh, sometimes it, it's a hard decision. And it really makes me realize that I need to not be judgeful. Judgeful? Is that a word? Judgmental judgeful. Who came up with that idea? Anyways, I need to not be judgmental when I see other kids at school that are sick because I don't know their situation. Like their moms maybe had to go to work, something like that. So, you know, anyways, I'm just randomly talking here. Okay. This is getting pretty wet here. I'm going to have to probably move things in a second. I really want to try out the gold splatters soon here, but I think we'll need to do that on the dry papers. Okay, you can still see me. And hello if you're hopping on. Sorry, I'm not looking at the comments the whole time because my hands are messy, but actually let me, I know my kitty. Yes, I'll show you the sprays in just a second. I kind of wanted to flip through because I missed <laughs> Some comments, my cat is, and I'm so sorry, this is shaky right now because I'm trying to, trying to scroll through so I can answer some of the questions real quick here. So give me a sec. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Jeanette, you've never done this. You're gonna give it a try. Do it's so fun. Rhonda, thanks for the reminder to like this video if you're enjoying it. And hi, Glenda. You've made some galaxies also. Yeah, you should have wrote your recipes down, but you know what? I don't do that either. <laughs> It'll give you a chance to just try something again. And Diane from Idaho, hello. Let's see, Dee Dee, I'm going to show you the sprays in just a second. I have one spray color. Oh, Katie, so I made a video a long time ago, and hello, Eileen, also in Ireland. Um, I made a video probably like five years ago where I made my own sprays. You can make them really cheap um, with like, a, I did it with acrylic paint. Now, I will say the acrylic paint kind of after a while, um, gets kind of icky, but if you want to do it for a one-time go, you could use acrylic paint, you could use food dyes. Uh, look on YouTube, there's so many different things that you can use. Okay, so the blue water, it, it's turning blue because I'm using some spray inks, and I'm gonna just fold this one and then I'll show you which colors I'm using. But again, you can do this idea with kind of anything you've got as long as they are colors. So. We have a Lindy's Starburst spray in Bachelor Button Blue, and then a couple oxide sprays. This one's Shaded Lilac, this one's Stormy Sky, and then Mermaid Lagoon. And I might throw in some other colors here in a few. I'm just kind of liking the blues. Maybe I'll grab like, uh, ooh, I like this bundled sage. So sometimes I'll take a different color and then kind of go, Oops. Oh, do I like that? I don't know if that's galaxy like. It's kind of cool, but I don't love it, so I won't use it again, but that's okay. Let me see what else. Um, I really am feeling the purples, that's for sure. Oh, that might have been a little too much, but it's okay. It's going to all even out. Okay. So if you hopped on, sometimes what I'm doing, so the water is just turning blue from the inks. I started out with plain water. And then almost every time that I'm going to dip a paper in, I spray right on top of the water. I just like the effect that it gives. So you do a couple sprays. It You would think like, oh, that's going to take up so much ink if you do that every time. But 
I've had all of these sprays for years. Of course, every now and again, now and again, I buy new colors, but it doesn't actually take them up that much. So yeah, I'll just spray on top. I just, I like the look that it gives when it's all mixed with water and then I'll fold on top, which is also gonna change up all of this going on. Cause you know, see like that's looking so cool though, right? And then things are getting a little wet, so I will dry off. And I have some of these in the oven right now so that I can hopefully show you guys a final result. And we will try out gold splatters to really give it that galaxy theme look. I need to make a lot of these, so yeah, I won't be on here too long just because I can go a lot quicker when I'm not talking So I'm gonna flip a couple of these as quick as I can and then we'll just, I'll take a peek in the oven. Okay, I'm gonna flip them over. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but they are getting dry. And I'm just gonna flip them. Cool, and then we can go on to those in just a second. So that'll be good. What do you guys have? plan for the weekend. Now this paper, this is a different copy paper brand. I usually buy my copy paper on Amazon, but today, uh, or not today, but yeah, what I'm using today, it's copy paper from Target. Like it's the Target brand and it's probably fine for copy paper, but I am noticing a little, a few places where it's tearing. So I guess maybe sometimes the brand does matter. I, I don't know, but I've used a lot of different brands too. And I don't usually have the problem, but it's okay. I just have to be extra careful. Oh yes. I love, I always love blue and purple together. I'm going to keep doing that combo. I think. Okay. Like that's such a pretty combo. I think I'm going to move all of these over and hopefully not rip them so that I can just keep stacking right here where you'll see. And it's super wet underneath. The one, the plastic that I'm moving them to has a lot of old ink on it. So that's gonna kind of play into the final result, but I'm okay with that. It's always fun to see how the papers turn out. Okay. Okay, just dry some of this up a little bit. Okay. I'll just, we'll see what color we get if I just dunk in here. After a while, the color does get dark enough that you can just do this, but it will be a pretty light shade. Um, but oh, and you got to make sure it's all wet too. So this is pretty, pretty darn light. And on camera, it might look white. It's not, but that's okay. Cause I'm gonna kind of do some of this, and this. Yep, we'll just do that for now. Do a spray of this combo since I'm loving it. Yep, love it, love it. Fold. And if, if anyone's hopping on, sorry, I'm not looking at the comments right now, but I will on a few. Yeah, I'm having trouble like folding the papers how I normally do. I, I've never really had this problem. Normally it, it just folds so s seamlessly and I never have any issues, but that's okay. We're still working with it. Let's try a different blue. We'll try the stormy sky on top and shaded lilac with a spritz of wilted violet. Oh, I don't try to, or I'm trying not to spray the colors so darn close to it because then it seems like so much ink is in one spot, but it gets so messy. I always notice when I do this that it will just be all over my counters for a really long time, it seems like. So I'm trying not to do that again. 
there's a chance that this is dry in here, the paper, so yeah, I think so. So, so now what I'm going to do, they're mostly dry, you can kind of see. Um, and Jeanette, I wondered if you could just use instant. I'm so new to this, but I love it. If you could just use instant. Oh, wait, sorry, there's a, I, I missed a few comments. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, let me scroll up for a second. So many people are on. Um, hi to Germany. You were about to say to do purple. Um, Debbie says, I planned on doing coffee dyed papers this afternoon, but this looks more fun. Oh, fun, I hope you'll try it. Sometimes I'll do coffee dyed paper and then add sprays too. So that's kind of more of a vintage -y look. You could try that out, that's fun. And how long do you leave the papers in the oven? Well, let's see, we've been on here uh, 10 minutes-ish, I think, 10, 15. I, I kind of just watch it, I don't know. I have it at 350 so you might want to do it lower if you're like really multitasking what kind of coffee do you use for coffee dyed paper i actually really love using instant coffee but if you drink coffee at home and say you make a pot of coffee and have leftover just use that but i like instant coffee because you can really make it dark if you want and katie i have dyed paper with coffee tea avocado skins Ooh, i've never done that one i don't think and Diane says she uses her radiator to dry them and then they dry fast. That's a good idea with cool lines. Yes. I get nervous because my stove or my oven is um, gas. And so I don't know why I'm more nervous using a gas. Anyways. Oh, instant coffee. That's what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't know that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just scrolling back there. Anyways, I was going to say, yeah, instant coffee is great. Uh, so once they're pretty dry, I'll unfold them and do a, a final like couple minutes just stacked like that, if that makes sense. Cause I know you can't see in here. So I'm just grabbing them and unfolding them just to make sure they're completely dry. So, but actually they seem completely dry. So. Let's find a spot for them, and then we can try some gold splatters, okay? So I'm going to set them down out of the way really quick, and I think I might as well, since it's so nice to have them dry quicker, I'm just going to go ahead and put these in the oven too. I like letting them air dry because, I don't know, they, they end up looking different. I, I can't remember if it's the colors seem darker or more vibrant when I do it that way. There is a difference and I can't remember what it is right now, but it takes more time and then you have to have such a mess out. Okay, so anyways, we'll do that. I do hate you wasting so many paper towels. I probably should just have, I should just have a towel that I reuse for this. That would be way better. Okay, I'm trying to dry this off so that we can try the gold sparkles situation here. Yeah, I'm also gonna grab a towel, sorry. Um, we will use you. This can just be my crafting towel. Try to move all of this. Sorry guys, we gotta do a little cleanup here to make room and then I'll probably have to go after we do the gold splatters because like I said I have a lot to do today I'm going to take the gloves off because they're annoying bring you here and then my gold so this is what I have to use I just like how metallic this is it's metallic gilding polish it's really thick so I'm going to see if we can water it down so let me grab a little up with a little water just a little bit I'm also gonna grab uh, where would I find where would one find a paintbrush I'm gonna grab a paintbrush from my craft room one moment please Now 
now we'll just take some of the gold gilding polish. I have just a paintbrush here. And let me, I'm gonna read through because I might have missed some comments again. It's probably annoying to watch the replay. I use leftover coffee, but not the one with milk. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, a lot of you use instant coffee. Oh, good idea about using coffee pods. Like if you don't like the coffee, I think, yeah, I think you could just open that up and pop it in. You might wanna use hot water, I guess. I, have I done that before? I think I have. Ooh, you could dry with fabric that you want to stain. That's a really good idea. Whoops, I almost, oh no. I think I almost reported your comment. I didn't mean to, but uh, I don't think I did. I love that idea. Yes. Uh, well, I already have the towel down. That's okay. Next time I'll definitely grab a towel, uh, some fabric, maybe some muslin fabric and I could dye it. That's such a good idea. Okay. So I'm going to take some of my gilding polish. I mean, I want it to be pretty gold, so we'll just try. Maybe I shouldn't have added so much water. Um, let me pour it. I mean, there's not that much in there, but all right. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, I'm just gonna try to, I hope, I know the lighting's not so great. It, my kitchen area is not the brightest. So, okay. Try to get all that off. I suppose you could do this if you have a really good metallic gold paint also. I just don't feel like any of my gold paints are as metallic as this is. I sort of wish this was thicker because I really want it to not like, fade into the paper if that makes sense but maybe I can use oops a little more I just got a chunk of it I usually this usually dries out before I use it up anyways so I'm fine with whoops yeah see I just got a little drop on there and now I'm smudging it in but I mean that's okay All right, it's not completely mixing up. I'm sure if I had like a whisk or something like that, that's okay. Okay, I was just mostly cleaning that part off to try that out. But yeah, basically I was just gonna take the brush part now. And yeah, it doesn't mix up too good, but we'll see, we'll see. I think it might work. And then we'll just kind of go around the paper. I mean, I think it's gonna work. So it's just gonna have splatters and when they dry, hopefully they'll still be pretty metallic-y. Um, yeah, I think, oops. <laughs> I kind of want smaller splatters, but at the same time, it's okay if they're all different. I should put the lid on there so I don't get too much water in there. And then I'll try to let these dry because if they get stacked, the splatters definitely might get mixed up or like, you know what I'm saying? They might spread into the paper more, but I won't have space, I guess, to have them all lay flat and they shouldn't take too long to dry. Gosh, I always think someone's breaking into my house, but it's literally just my cat. Yeah, what do you guys think? It's gonna be hard to tell on camera. I think the final result will be pretty good. Um. Hi, Marianne. Thank you. Um, Karen, I'm a bit late on the gilding wax with hot water. Oh yeah, that's a better, I <laughs> that is a good idea. See, I'm not able to like follow the comments <laughs> as, as well when I'm doing these things, but it would have been way better to use hot water. That's a great idea. So that will be helpful though, because I will be doing a bunch of these, so. Okay, yeah, I, I think this is gonna give the effect I was going for, for sure. I am kind of curious what it would look like if I did this on the wet ones. Um, okay, I'm just checking the oven real quick. Yep, because see, the ones I have in here now, I should have paid attention to time so I could tell you guys, but 
it's going to take a different amount of time for drying for everyone, just depending on like your oven and everything. So like, that might not be that helpful anyways. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can move you to the back here because let's see. You know what? I want to, I have, yeah, I think I, maybe I've tried avocado dyeing, but it's been a long time if I have. I definitely want to give that a shot pretty soon. So maybe that's something we can do together. Anyways, I'm gonna take this gold and just experiment, put some on the wet papers, and I might not be able to show the result right now. Now, the only thing is, is I have these stacked, so it's not gonna get the full paper, but that's okay. It'll give me an idea of what it's gonna look like if I just did it right now, because actually that does look kind of cool. Although I think I'll prefer the after effect. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, guys. Well, I sadly probably need to go so that I can actually get work done a lot faster. But I will share some final photos. I keep forgetting that I can't... I So I post a lot of my final looks on Instagram. I know that not everyone's on there. So I need to remember I can also post shorts is what they're called here on YouTube. So I'm gonna try to get better at that. I'll try to post, um, I'll get like my lighting set up so I can like do a flip through and show you the final papers. And with the lighting, you should be able to see what the gold looks like. So I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out. Um, oh, what is the blue? I'll answer real quick. I started out with, just, I was gonna say white water. I started out with regular water and then, yep, it's my spray inks. So if you wanna watch the replay, I'm gonna be getting off here. You can see how I did it, but I start out with plain water and then I just spritz on some inks every so often, dunk in the paper. Um, it just kind of gives it a cool effect and it's fun. So that's why we're calling it galaxy paper. <laughs> You could also put the gold in the water and dip pages. That's also a great idea. So I'm gonna experiment with that as well, but I kind of need to clean my area up here. So thank you guys for hanging out. Wow, we got 40 thumbs up today on this live. Thank you guys so much. If you are on this live and you haven't given it a thumbs up, um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. I appreciate your guys' support so much, and it's been really fun doing lives with you this week. Um, you guys really made my week a lot better, and I will see you soon. This is the last day of my kid-free days for the week, so probably won't see you on a live until next week, possibly, maybe over the weekend, um, but we'll just see. So have a good weekend, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.